Like your bull pups? Like ambidextrous stocks? Want to be able to cock either left or right handed? Must have reliability and quality of engineering? Of course, you want accuracy and you will want it to be regulated. Maybe this week's review is just what you're looking for. This week, it's the super compact designed Edgun Lelia. Hello and welcome to AAR On Air. Today is a review of Carl's favourite Edgun, the Lelia or Baby Matador as we often affectionately call it. Is this all of those things previously mentioned? Well, let's take a closer look at it, shall we? At first glance, this really is a baby Matador R5M. And there is nothing wrong with that, because the Matador is a well-sorted bullpup. This is 600 millimeters long, or should I say short, because this is surely about as short as you can possibly go in a bullpup. It weighs in at a lightweight 2.9 kilograms, unscoped. So it's lightweight and extremely short, but this isn't at the cost of the barrel length, because the barrels in the Lelia are 15 inches or 377 millimeters long. The last 100 millimeters of the gun is the baffled silencer or moderator to help keep the noise levels down, which it successfully does. Below this is the filler port, which has a twist system to keep the dust out and an electronic pressure gauge to keep an eye on your fill pressures and a whole host of other information too. Moving back, we come to the main body, or chassis, which is topped off with a weaver type rail, which is becoming so popular these days with the influx of new designed guns. Built into this is the spare magazine holding system, which is really very neat and tidy and has your loaded spare magazines instantly to hand when required. The gun comes complete and supplied with two 10 round magazines in this 177 caliber and the same capacity magazines in the 22 caliber. Loading these is about as simple as it gets with a simple drop in and press home into the O ring. That just makes sure that they're nicely seated. There's even a speed loader available for these now, too. Moving further down the lelia, we come to the comfortable neoprene cheek rest, which is a simple clip-on item and is surprisingly comfortable in use. Moving back, we come across the magazine slot, magazine locking lever and safety lever. Both of these levers are large enough to use with some serious gloves on in cold conditions and have defined clicks to give you that extra level of assurance in operation. Right at the very end is a loop for a single strap system. The only other things to look at are the cocking levers and the beautiful walnut stock. Both of these two are truly ambidextrous, with the cocking lever being usable from either side of the gun. But please, don't use them both at the same time, just either or. The trick when using the Lelia, or Matador for that matter, is the push with the cocking lever after the arming pull. This pushes the pellet, or even slug for that matter, home in the barrel. The stock is a work of art. The finish is beautiful in both the wood finish and the construction. It has a thumb hole pistol grip type finish and mimics the Russian military type grip with its more straight up and down rather than an AR-15 type grip. The trigger and trigger guard are completely different to most other air guns with a semi open guard and a deep curved ribbed trigger which is fully adjustable to suit your individual needs tastes and preferences and you can even do away with 
two stages and simply have one stage if you really wanted to. With the very limited space in front of the trigger, using the Lelia is quite a different experience. And I have seen people turn their noses up at the style. That is, until they try it. Then they usually become quite hooked with its tighter in the shoulder shooting style, which keeps all that weight, which isn't a lot by the way, tight into the body. Swinging this thing around is also very easy and makes it the tool to have in tight spaces, such as dense woodland or forest or barns, especially if you're out for a bit of pest control. Time to put some optics on this little Lelia then to put it to the test out at the usual 40 metres. This is the sub 12 foot pound model, not an FAC version. And I fitted the 6 to 24 by 44 Veyron. Why? Because it's compact, it complements this gun very, very nicely, and it's a real favourite of mine. I just love this tiny little scope, and it is brilliant. So... Let's get it out onto the range. Well, what can I say? It's about what I've come to expect from Ed Gunn's beautifully accurate and nicely consistent. This is great fun to use and a gun that you very quickly become comfortable using. It's one of those guns that you can just sit down and time disappears very quickly along with your supply of pellets. This is, as I've said, the sub 12 foot pound version, but as always, this is available in the higher power versions and in this form excels at longer 100 meter range target work. It really does. It is very consistent with its regulator on board and I saw a spread of around six feet per second across a 10 shot string. I do enjoy using the Ed Guns because they always feel well sorted and like they've been thoroughly thought through. They just work, no problems, they're accurate, no question. No, they're not cheap at £1,549 UK, but they're not that expensive compared to the competition either. It is pretty plain to see where the money is in them, and in that sense, they do represent value for money. The shape could be a little marmite to some people with that really short stock. Me, I like it. Carl at Vector Air loves it. To decide, I really think you need to get your hands on one to feel just how it fits you. It is a real head turner. Well, hopefully you've enjoyed this week's review. If you have, please give us the old thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Hit the alarm bell to ensure you're told when a new release comes out. Check out the usual sites with blogs, chats, info, merchandise, the whole lot. Remember to stay safe and shoot safe. And hopefully I'll see you next week. Thank you so much for watching.